morning, everyone. I cannot believe that we have arrived at the last piece of armor. Today, we're going to be talking about the sword of the spirit. And um, the, the sword of the spirit is literally the word of God. And what is the word of God? The Bible. And we're going to learn about how that relates to actually being used as a sword to protect us. So over the last couple of weeks, we've been learning about the belt of truth, the breastplate of righteousness, the shoes fitted with the readiness of the gospel of peace, the fa to have faith like a shield, the helmet of salvation we did last week, and today we're doing the sword of the spirit. Now again, just like the shield of faith, the sword is, is the, different to the whole armor that we wear because it's not actually fitted to our bodies. It can move. And a real really quick, um, nifty swordsman is able to re move in, in a way that will protect him against anything and use it in, in a really powerful way so that weaponry doesn't actually get to touch his armor. Now, like we've said, the sword of the spirit in, in our case is the Bible. The more we learn and know what's going on in here, the more we will be able to defend ourselves against the things that come at us. Right, okay, so in Hebrews 4 verse 12, it says, For the word of God, the word of God is alive and powerful. It is sharper than the sharpest two-edged sword, cutting between soul and spirit, between joint and marrow. It exposes our innermost thoughts and desires. A sharp sword can cut through just about anything, if you think about it. When we use the Bible as a sword, we are able to cut through the things that the world tells us and get, get to the truth. So sometimes, as human beings that live in this world filled with lots of sin around us, and remember, the armor of God is about fighting against the temptations of the devil, the bad things that the devil puts in our path. Why does he want to put the, these things in our path? Because he wants to break our relationship with God. But Paul writes in Ephesians about how God gives us the armor of God. And that's what we've been talking about to be able to pray and put on us to protect us from the devil's schemes. So sometimes in the, in the world that we live in, we are told things like, you will become really successful if you have a lot of money one day. So maybe if you drive a really fancy car and you live in a really fancy house and you wear the best clothes, that is considered successful. But what does the Bible say about that? The Bible tells us, seek the kingdom of God above all else and live righteously. That means to live rightly and rightly with God. And he will give you everything you need. So we don't need all of those things because if we have a close relationship with God, that's actually the most important and that's all we need to live a righteous life. So knowing the things that are spoken about in the Bible, this is God's word. This is what God gives us like an instruction manual before you pull out a new vacuum cleaner or a new computer or whatever, that there are always instructions with that. This is our instruction of how to live. And if we hold close to this, if we hold these words close to our heart, that is how we, number one, learn more about Jesus and are able to live in the way that Jesus tells us. Did you know that even Jesus used the word of God as a sword against Satan? Shortly after Jesus was baptized, he went into the desert where he was tempted by the devil for 40 days. And that's actually... Um, around about this time that we're going into the period of Lent. And Jesus fought back by quoting from the word of God. Okay, Remember, there was the Old Testament because Jesus came and then the New Testament was written, but there was the word of God when Jesus walked on this earth. On this earth. And he used the word of God to fight against what Satan's, Satan was tempting him with. So by reading the Bible every day and memorizing scriptures, we know how to live the life that God has intended for us. And just by ending today, I want to re-say re this verse. It's probably, we've said it so often, but Ephesians 6 verse 11 says, 
Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the schemes of the devil. Um, It's been so wonderful being able to share these parts of the armor with you. And next week, we're going to end just to, to tie everything up about how we can now put all of these things that we know into practice. Um, I really hope that you've been blessed by this and I pray that you, that the people that are listening to this would be able to use the armor of God as you start every day by praying it on over us that we can stand firm. Let's end in prayer. Father God, thank you for this opportunity to be able to just share these um, words that you left us and the guidance that you speak of in your word. Thank you, Lord Jesus, that... um, You enable us to stand firm in in our faith with you and in our relationship with you. And I pray that we would be able to constantly refer and and journey and, and understand more about the word that you've left us with in order to know how to stand firm, in order how to grow our relationship with you, and in order how to be Christians with a light as we walk around in this in this world. We just pray this in and through your name. Amen.